Cora questions, why was Roman concrete not used for centuries after the fall of Rome? Part 2. Alice Twain says, the reason was pozzolana, which was the volcanic ash that was used as a raw material for Roman concrete. The problem of pozzolana is that it's in short supply, only available in certain areas. Well, basically around Naples. Indeed, the Roman concrete was widely used in Rome and in a nearby area, but hardly even used in other areas of the empire, as importing large amounts of pozzolana was very costly. Pozzolana-based concrete was used in some very large structures built in and around Rome, some of which is still standing. Don't trust the legends, most of these have undergone severe maintenance. But as in the Middle Ages, the requests for large concrete buildings pretty much disappeared, the concrete stopped being used. Medieval builders preferred to use stone and wood for their buildings. Even so, Pozzolana concrete was still very much known, and for instance, Brunelleschi even used it in several of his buildings. John says, Though this is discussed here very often, the proper answer seems to be largely ignored. The key to the best quality, longest lasting Roman concrete is the mix of ingredients. Namely, seawater is the secret to a long lasting Roman concrete. The researchers found a silicon material called called Philipsite, which is common in volcanic rocks, with crystals of aluminum tubomorite growing from it. Tubomorite seems to have grown from Philipsite when seawater washed through concrete, turning it into more alkaline. It is a very rare occurrence on Earth, Jackson says. Such crystallization has only been seen in places such as the Surti volcano in Iceland. As tubomorite grows, it may strengthen the concrete because its long, plate-like crystals allow the material to flex, rather than shadow when stressed. It makes you really wonder how many things that the United States has made today will be around another thousand years from now. Call me for more core questions.